Hey, good morning, folks. So we're out on the trails today. We've got a few cool things planned. We're gonna have an excellent lunch. We're gonna, I got the target box with us. We're gonna do some shooting. I've also got the, um, I've also got uh, some cool ideas for some fun shots to take uh, along the way. And if we're lucky enough to come across a nice tree fork, uh, we're gonna take those, uh, take those home and uh, possibly make a, uh, a future natural sl fork slingshot. So you guys stick around. So it looks like I got a pretty good decent fork here. So we're gonna cut this guy off. I'm gonna fill my, gonna fill my bag full of sawdust, but that looks like a decent one, and this one might be good too. So I found three forks so far, but this one, this one is the one I'm, I'm showing real promise on. Look at the shape of that. Now, once you get your grip on there, can you imagine? This one is gonna be awesome. And it's made out of beech too, so it's a real strong, solid piece of wood. This one's gonna be a lot of fun. Natural fork awesomeness. All right guys, my brother just found this beauty. Look at that. We're gonna cut that guy off. And right over here, I know it's kind of a bad view, but there's another one right in there. We're going to cut them both off. They're just about perfect forks. I'm in love with that one. There's a lot we could do with that. Right. We got two more beauties. Look at that guy. And the cool thing is, is when they got a little bit extra beef on there, you've got some room to, uh, to do a little carving and shaping. So this one shows a lot of promise. It's really comfortable too. And once I whittle this thing down, you actually be able to see the grain. And then we got this one. This is another another good looking one. Yeah, it feels better this way for sure. But that should be a lot of fun too. Both of them still coming in beach though. Hopefully we'll be able to find some other kind of wood, but they're all a little bit on the green side, so we're gonna have to dry these out before we do anything with them. All right, we're going that way. <laughs> Yikes. All right, folks, take a look at this. What a beautiful spot. I absolutely love this area. Just gorgeous, full of wildlife. Everything's here. Cool slingshot forks. <laughs> All the things that matter. <laughs> All right. We've come a long way. It's a bit of a slog, but it may almost be time for a fun shot. What do you guys think? That was fun, and we got another egg to do too. Woo! All right, guys, we got a bit of a sketchy crossing here. The camera's gonna have to go away for a minute, and then, uh, oh, that might be a thicker log over there to cross on. I don't know if that's the one. Maybe we'll just do it here. I think we're just gonna cross here. I'm gonna put the camera away just in case I go for this one. Camera dummy strikes again. I uh, lit that fire with my silky saw and my four directions bushcraft uh, ferro rod. Just gave it a good, good couple of sparks and it caught right up. But I'm an idiot and I forgot to turn off my camera. Turn on my camera again. And uh, it is what it is. So. Got two of these bad boys. Once we're done drinking them, we're gonna start shooting them. So folks, if anybody's wondering what I'm drinking today, this is a Pomplamoose IPA, or grapefruit, I got you the English side. 
Uh, this is a local beer from a company called St. Amboise. It's in, uh, in Montreal, Canada, and uh, they make some fantastic beers. Some of the best I've ever had. This one is actually great. I know a lot of people see, oh, it's gonna be grapefruit, it's gonna be sweet and stupid. It's not, it's a straight up IPA. If you guys are into those kind of, uh, that goes, those kind of drinks, those unibrew type of this style drinks or beers, fantastic. If you're ever in the area, or if they import to your area, give it a try, you will not be sorry, I'm telling you. <sighs> well, that's a little annoying. Just get the fire started. My brother reaches back, he's like, oh man, something's tickling my back. Lift up a shirt, found two ticks on them. Lift up my shirt, found one. I freaking hate those things. I'm telling you, they're nasty little creatures that just out there to make people die. <laughs> I hate ticks. Oh, buddy. I just let that cook. Later. We'll have to give you a look at this a little bit later. But we got in here um, potatoes, uh, onions, garlic, uh, some spices. All wrapped up kind of nice. We're going to throw that on the coals and hopefully that'll cook in time too. Nice. Alright, we got a big ball here. I'm going to give this a try. I may have attached my hammock to a tree that's a little too small. It's leaning right over. You can probably hear it screaming. <laughs> but it is what it is. We'll survive. <sighs> we'll eat a couple pieces of jerky. Mm. While we're waiting for the food to cook. All right, guys. So adult beverage number two. It's Tom Green, the Tom Green beer from Bose Brewery. Now, if you haven't had Bro Bose before, again, they're another one that's just in, just over the uh, border from Quebec into Ontario, and they make uh, another one that's really good that I like a lot. It's called Lug Tread, and there's another one called uh, it's like a Wolf beer or something like that. It's got a wolf on the can. Both fantastic beers. <sighs> Let's see how this guy is. Mm. Okay, so it's got to be like a little red bit of a ready beer. That looks pretty good. You can tell by the tell by the head. It's a cherry milk stout. Weird. It's actually pretty good. Not bad at all. Tom Green from Freddy Got Fingered to this beer. Life is a success, my buddy. <laughs> Life is a success. I can't even talk, so the beer's working. Too pink? Yeah. All right, we'll leave it a little longer. This is the Groman number three. Now, I don't know if you guys get those over in the UK or not, but this is a Canada-made knife. It is uh, super comfortable, and it's pretty much legendary here in Canada. A lot of uh, hunters and trappers, it's got a great history. It's been around for 70 years or so, something like that. And uh, does a great job. It's a weird shape, but actually it's super comfortable. And if you like uh, something you can use around the kitchen for food prep, bushcraft, survival, just about anything, this thing will handle it. Um, the uh, It is a little bit on the thin side here, so I don't know if I would go batoning crazy sticks with it. But besides that, it's going to handle all of your tasks. And it was actually designed for hunters and trappers. So uh, for you uh, self-reliance guys who are out there um, hunting and trapping, this will be a good uh, a good knife for you guys. And it's got a good a good design on it for, uh, for skinning and whatnot as well. Pretty nice, pretty nice knife. Love this thing.
my half of the steak is ready. I happen to like mine. That's probably a little overdone for me, but that's okay. A little bit of little bit of pink ain't gonna hurt nobody. And let's get some taters in there. The rest of those for you, bud. All right. There we go. We got some, uh, they call it flat meat. Don't know what the hell that is, but it's gonna be tasty. Marinated in some kind of wine sauce. It's a triple A, 21 days uh, aged. And some potatoes mixed up with some nice spices, garlic onions, and uh, pork spices from Clubhouse. Fantastic. It's the way to go for potatoes. Have a little full more fun and kill this little guy. Here we go. Ah, take that. That was freaking awesome. Nothing more satisfying than a lighter, boy. Let me tell you. Blink. I was just taking some shots and this band set already got a big chunk out of it. I can't even shoot this anymore. I'll just wind up uh, taking one in the face. Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Well, I guess that's it for the shooting for today. You hear that guy snoring? I was lucky enough to have another band stored in that, uh, in that pouch. Although I think it's, uh, a little bit uh, different taper than the one that I was using for the uh, 50 shot challenge but uh, whatever we're just out here having fun today we'll put on a proper band uh, for when we start back up on that uh, on that challenge Ooh. here it is asshole snoring I should shoot him and tell him it was a ricochet Just a half draw. All right, two more shots. If I don't hit it, we're packing it in. There's one. Two. Got him. Sorry guys, on the way out today, uh, when we pack up and hit the hit the trails, uh, we're gonna put some bug repellent on. Um, tuck our pants into our socks, tuck our shirts into our pants, and uh, give us a good spray down with this stuff. Uh, on the way in, we found some ticks on us. Can't mess around with that. Too many diseases you can catch from it. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna put some of this stuff on, and hopefully uh, they'll stay off of us on the way out. Uh, we got a lot of bushwhacking to do before we get to the trail. And then uh, it's kind of like off and on the trail because the because the trails flooded out from where the uh, four wheelers drive through here, and they put uh, big ruts in the thing and they just fill right up with water. So if we're gonna have to be off and on the trail, we're gonna want to have some of this on us, keep us safe, keep the ticks off of us. All right, so we got all our garbage picked up, cleared up. We stuff that in the bag. All right, so we're all packed up. It's time to get out of here. It's a long hike, about an hour or so. And uh, anyway, we're off. Well, it can never be easy. I'm trying to keep your feet dry. But that's the way. If the trail was just clear, this would be so much easier. What a gorgeous forest though.
All right, guys, just taking a little breather. We are pretty close back to the car now. We got another maybe 10 minutes and we're there, which is pretty good. But uh, let me tell you, the walk here has been rough. Getting in and out of here has been bad. With all the rain that we got last night, filled up all the pools, everything's all full of water. You can even hear it running behind me. Anyway, so just want to say thanks a lot for watching. You guys get out, teach your kid to shoot, have a good time, and I will see you again soon. You guys take care. And uh, right at the very end of this video, on the end screen, I'm going to show all the forks that I collected up through the day. We got some good ones. Should make some good forks. Take well, that was a lot of fun today. Just what the doctor ordered. Got to head out, collect some tree forks, cook a good meal, have some fun shots, and uh, get a little bit of practice in. That's all that counts. So, thanks a lot for watching. Teach your kid to shoot, and I'll see you next time. And if you haven't already, hope you consider subscribing and hit that like button if you like this video. Take care.